Hello, this is uh, chapter 11, problem number 10 of the textbook on page 295. It's called Measurements in the Lab. It says, Juan makes a measurement in the chemistry laboratory and records the re result in his lab report. The standard deviation of students' lab measurements is sigma equals 10 milligrams. Juan repeats this measurement four times and records the mean of his four measurements. Okay, first of all, a few comments. So whenever you're taking measurements, in this case, the standard deviation is 10 milligrams, uh, think of the standard deviation as a measurement of how reliable your measurements are. That means that um, you, your measurements are going to be off a little bit because no measurement is perfect. And so there's a certain amount of variation among your measurements. And in this case, it's 10 milligrams is the standard deviation. All right, now one repeats the measurement four times. So you could think of it like he's taking a sample of size 4, right here, so n, n equals 4. Now, why would you want to repeat your measurement four times? Well, common sense tells you if you take a measurement once, maybe it's a little bit too high, maybe it's a little bit too low. And keeping in mind here, we have a certain amount of variation in, on our measurements that we do have a bit of inaccuracy from measurement to measurement. But if you take a measurement four times, sometimes it'll be a little too high, sometimes a little too low. On average, it should be about right. So that, that's the idea. But we can think of it as a sample. Now, what's our population? Our population is all measurements in the world, maybe, are all possible measurements that one could pro possibly take in, in this laboratory. Okay, so uh, there could be thousands and thousands of potential different measurements he could take. So he's only taking four. Okay, let's an answer the question. A, what is the standard deviation of one's mean result? That is, if one kept, take, kept on making four measurements and averaging them, what would be the standard deviation of all his x-bars? That should be an x-bar there. That's a, it's a typo there. Okay, so this is the, the rule that I was talking about in the last video. Basically, this it's a sampling distribution. What are, what's the distribution of all the possible averages he could get? So the standard deviation of all the possible x bars, of all po all potential x bars, is equal to sigma over square root of n. Okay, in this case, sigma is ten. Square root of n. Well, n is 4, so square root of 4 is 2, so it's 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And that's uh, the units for milligrams there. So 5 milligrams is the answer to part A. Now, what, what this tells us is what we intuitively know. If you repeat your measurements and average them together, your result is more reliable. Before, with only one measurement, the standard deviation was 10, meaning not that reliable. But now, with an average of 4 measurements, Standard deviation is now only 5. So the average of four measurements is more reliable than just one individual measurement. OK, part B. How many times must one repeat this experiment to reduce the standard deviation to 2? Explain to someone who knows no statistics the advantage of, re of reporting the average of several measurements rather than the result of a single measurement. Well, first of all, Let's, uh, let's figure this out. How many times, in other words, n equals what? We're solving for n. The number of times one is going to take his measurement S in order for the standard deviation of all the x bars to equal 2. So we set up a little equation here. Sigma over square root of n equals 2. All right, sigma we know. Let's, let's uh, replace the sigma with uh, 10. That's the standard deviation of the, of the population. And then we can algebraically solve this formula here. So uh, we can divide by 2 here, move the square root up to the other side. So that's 5 equals square root of n. And then square both sides. And we have n equals 25. Okay, so that means that one has to repeat his measurements 25 times and average them all together in order to get your standard deviation down to just a 2. 
So that's a lot of extra work just to get that standard deviation down, uh, down to two measurements. But if that's what he needs, then that's what he has to do. Okay, last part of the question. Explain to someone who knows no statistics the advantage of reporting the average of several measurements rather than the result of just one single measurement. Well, um, the idea here, if you think of standard deviation as how reliable your measurements are, one measurement, standard deviation is 10. Uh, four measurements, standard deviation is 5. 25 measurements, standard deviation is 2. We just figured that out. So in other words, uh, the more, the more uh, times you take a measurement, Uh, the more reliable uh, the results. Uh, if if you average them together, comma. If this is probably a run-on sentence, but you get the idea. If you average the results. Now we're not supposed to explain this using statistics because it says in the directions. Explain to someone who knows no statistics that we're not supposed to use words like standard deviation and things like that. So if you average the results. But the basic idea is some, some measurements are, would be a little bit too high. Uh, some measurements are a little bit too low. Some are too low. But on average, it will be just right, which brings back the concept of an unbiased estimator again where x bar is going to be on average very close to what the population mean is. And that, that's it for uh, question number 10.